This video will address the following questions. Firstly, can HPV be positive and then negative? Second, HPV positive becomes negative then turns positive again, is it possible? Lastly, can negative HPV test now become HPV positive months or years later? We'll also cover three proven ways to get rid of HPV, supported by clinical research. When you get your pap smear and HPV test results, your healthcare provider will give explanation and recommendations. A negative HPV test result means you do not have HPV type that is linked to cervical cancer. And a HPV positive test result means you have high risk HPV detected. It's important to know that tested HPV positive does not mean you have or will get cervical cancer. When HPV positive comes with normal pap, it means high risk HPV is found and no cervical cell abnormality detected. Based on normal pap HPV positive guidelines, the doctor may recommend a repeat PAP and HPV tests in 12 months. Or conduct a test for HPV 16 and HPV 18 followed by colposcopy if necessary. However, when HPV positive is associated with abnormal PAP smear results, it means high risk type of HPV is found and abnormal cervical cell changes are also detected. In this case HPV is the likely cause of abnormal cell changes in cervix. Based on abnormal pap smear HPV positive treatment guidelines, the doctor may recommend colposcopy if detects low-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion. On the other hand, if abnormal pap smear shows high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion, colposcopy and immediate treatment are strongly recommended. So can HPV be positive and then negative? In short, yes. You can be tested HPV positive and then become HPV negative. It is possible that a test you carried out for HPV some time ago might have been positive. And then your recent tests for HPV came back as negative with no trace of HPV. The USCDC appraises that in over 90% of HPV infection cases, the patient's body eliminate all traces of HPV within two years with the clearance usually happened during the first six months after the infection. Another study carried out at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine revealed that 70% of women with HPV infections turn to be HPV negative within one year, and 91% of the sample turned out to be HPV negative within two years. A median duration of the infection is eight months. For women whose pap smear tests turned out to be abnormal, Many cases will change to normal results over time. While women who previously tested positive for HPV later tested negative. According to McGill University of Canada, about 1% of women will experience persistent HPV infection that could potentially lead to cancer. This simply means if you test positive now, it is not necessarily going to be permanent. And there is good chance that you're not HPV positive for life. In many occasions, the HPV infection detected in patients is less severe and does not have symptoms. The HPV will usually go away on its own, and the patient regains good health without being treated. According to scientific research, there are several natural ways that you can get rid of HPV virus faster. Number 1, AHCC or active hexose correlated compound produced from mushrooms called shiitake. AHCC is an alpha-glucan-rich nutritional supplement that can help to boost the body immunity. This mushroom extract works by increasing the production of body's natural killer cells and dendritic cells. It also serves as immunomodulatory agent that helps keep our immune system strong and balanced. According to research by the University of Texas Health Science Center, Dietary supplement AHCC appears to be promising for eradication of HPV. In this clinical study, 10 women with persistent HPV infection received 3 grams daily of AHCC on an empty stomach for up to 6 months. 5 out of the 10 participants achieved negative result for HPV infection within weeks to months of taking AHCC. Among them, 3 of these women are reported to have confirmed HPV eradication. Not only that, 
Many user testimonials show AHCC can really get rid of HPV as confirmed by pap smear and HPV test results. This supplement is helpful in fighting off HPV 16 and 18 that cause 70% of cervical cancers and cervical dysplasia. While the aforementioned clinical study led by Dr. Judith Smith only involved women participants. Dr. Smith believes similar results will be obtained when AHCC is used to treat men with HPV. This is due to the similarities in men and women's immune systems and the same HPV strain may affect both genders. For examples, high-risk HPV virus type 16 can cause throat cancer and anal cancer for both male and female. While genital warts are sexually transmitted infections when an individual is exposed to certain low-risk HPV. In this classification, low-risk HPV type 6 and type 11 are identified as the major causes of genital warts. As Dr. Smith revealed to Fox News, some men who used AHCC noticed their genital warts were cured without recurrence. Shiitake mushrooms have been known for centuries for their healing properties and health benefits in Asian countries. In Japan, AHCC is used in over 700 clinics and hospitals mainly to fight against most tumors in cancer treatment. As reported by the World Journal of Clinical Oncology, AHCC can increase production of tumor necrosis factor alpha. It is also clinically proven to reduce the chemotherapy side effects such as nausea and hair loss. With over 20 human studies and more than 100 preclinical studies, this natural mushroom extract has been successfully used to treat a wide range of health conditions. Next in the list is lycopene, or carotenoid. Lycopene is a bright red carotene and carotenoid pigment found in tomatoes. It is also available in other red fruits and vegetables like red carrots. Lycopene is a natural pigment synthesized by plants and microorganisms. It is an acyclic isomer of beta-carotene with potent antioxidant activity. Researches show lycopene is an effective carotenoid against HPV. According to Medline Plus, women with higher levels of lycopene in blood seem to recover from cancer-associated HPV infection faster. This observation is further supported by data from the University of Arizona. After studied 84 women with at least one oncogenic infection, Findings show higher concentrations of lycopene may reduce the clearance time of an oncogenic HPV infection. Sulforaphane is another great natural option to fight HPV. This is an anti-cancer compound in cruciferous vegetables. It can be found in broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, kale, and kohlrabi. As a dietary isothiocyanate derived from glucoraphanin, Sulforaphane is beneficial for prevention of cancers, including colon cancer and prostate cancer. Studies show this substance is helpful for suppressing cancer development, as it inhibits enzymes that are involved in tumor growth. According to International Journal of Molecular Sciences, sulforaphane is found to inhibit and delay the development of cervical cancer cells. It works by downregulating and arresting abnormal cell growth. So, after HPV positive becomes negative, can HPV test results turn into positive again? Yes. It is possible for a patient to test positive for HPV, then test negative, and later test positive again. This could happen for two reasons, the HPV strain previously detected could have stayed dormant then reactivated. Or the patient has had a new HPV type. HPV virus may lay dormant for many years before it becomes active again. This means, you could still test positive for HPV after it has been undetectable in your system. As it may come back when dormant virus get reactivated. According to research, it could take 10 years before HPV cause any significant changes in the cervix. While no study proves HPV virus cannot stay dormant for as long as 20 years. Similarly, it is also possible that your most recent pap smear test shows HPV positive, even though the previous test came back as HPV negative. This may happen due to infection with a new different HPV, or the virus from a previous infection was initially suppressed.
but later reactivated from dormant state hence the positive result in the latest test. As such, it is very important to keep your body immune system strong to fight off HPV. Because your body immunity is the first line of defense against HPV infections. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and share this out.